Hello ladies, and maybe we have some men watching today, and that's okay. We are talking wedding gown alterations for those lovely full-figured curvy brides. I just love working with my full-figured brides. You know, some alterationists, they do struggle trying to alter gowns for the full-figured brides. So in this video, that's what we're going to discuss. We're going to walk through doing alterations for our curvy brides. When I'm working with my bride, my goal is always the same, to end up with a bride who loves her gown. You know, every bride deserves to feel like a princess on her special day, and that's her wedding day. Like my bride, Catherine, who you see here in this picture. It's truly a labor of love to alter wedding gowns, and this is something I love to do. But let me walk you through how I got to this point. Now first, you have to understand, gowns may not fit curvy full figure brides especially in certain areas. For example, the back of this dress was too large and it did not lay smooth on the bride. So here there was too much fabric and looked puckered and wrinkled. So I had to shorten the lace overlay below the shoulder blades. Now we see how the gown lays perfect on our bride. Okay ladies, how do you think the back turned out? Now this is a nice fit. Now let's move to the sleeves. For full figure brides, the arm proportions may not be uniform, therefore you had to do some adjustments to the sleeves. In this case, the sleeves had to be tapered from the elbow down to the wrist. And as our bride is short, the sleeves had to be shortened as well. This meant removing the decorative loops and buttons and reattaching the buttons and loops on the sleeves. And this may seem easy, but keep in mind this is a delicate fabric. So you have to be very careful to avoid tearing the sleeves or putting a hole in the sleeve. And when working with this fabric, it can be difficult to see the stitching you're taking apart. This is one reason why some alterationists walk away from doing work on a wedding gown. In this picture, I'm showing you the bust. For this bride, the gown had to be adjusted to fit our bride to prevent a gapping on the upper part of the bust to show the curve in her bust area. And you know the bust of brides come in many sizes, so more than likely the bust area will always need adjustment. Now moving down, we come to the hips and waist. And I just want to emphasize, for your curvy, full figure brides, there is no definition of standard. This is one reason why many alterationists can't handle full figured curvy brides. Now let's get back to Catherine. For the hips and waist, I had to let out the gown. The complexity of this gown added to the work required as the gown was made up of six panels. Normally a gown, or for that matter, any garment, has a 5 8 seam allowance. A note though, if you are ordering gowns from the internet, be careful, there may be little or no seam allowance. One way gown makers cut down on the cost is to use less fabric, and a half inch here and a half inch there over hundreds of thousands of gowns add up, but it leaves little or no room for your alterationist to make adjustments if the gown has to be cut or let out. And fabric of some garments ordered on the internet is very inexpensive. Okay, I'll call it like it is. Some garments are just cheaply made, and these internet sellers know you're not going to pay to ship the gown back overseas, so most brides just bite the bullet and keep the gown or purchase another one locally. So, you are most likely better off buying a wedding gown locally. Now remember, this is a special day. Happily, this was not the case with this gown. It was made well, but, yeah, there is always a but. This gown was made with three layers and one layer was double. This is why wedding gowns are expensive to alter. You're working often with multiple layers of fabric, delicate fabric, and yes, the stress of having someone's special day in your hands. Now the real test is can she move in the dress and have fun at her wedding? The answer is yes. She danced and watch her talk in the bouquet. Now some pics of the wedding, the bride and the groom's first dance. And here I am here with the bride's sister. The bride's mother and me. I have known her for many years, and she was so happy with how the gown and the wedding turned out. Now look at her shoes. She wanted me to add a little bling so that they would pop a little bit more. So I just added sequin ribbon to the shoes.
Ah, cutting the wedding cake. What a nice wrap up to the end of a beautiful wedding. Finally, my outfit I created. No, Chris don't buy outfits. Okay, not too many. I create outfits and stay tuned for my video on this outfit. And a couple of pics with my handsome husband. Handsome husband. Thanks for watching my video, Wedding Gown Alterations for Full Figure Curvy Brides. And just a note to you full figure curvy brides, never, never settle for less than a perfect job. Find the right alterationist who will make that gown look beautiful. If you can't find one, message me and I can arrange for you to send me your gown and I will alter it for you. Again, thanks for watching and if you like my videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.